Hey, what's going on YouTube? JGML TV HD. We out here with the Nintendo Switch, obviously. Um, and it's just a little quick video, to be honest. I just wanted to do a top five gaming grips for the Nintendo Switch because basically I got this gaming grip the other day. Um, this one's a little OP because obviously it charges your Nintendo Switch. Plus, it's got the two, you know, plastic, hard plastic gaming grips either side. So it just feels kind of nice. It feels like you're holding a Joy-Con when you're in handheld mode um, because it won't affect everyone. But when I hold my Nintendo Switch in handheld, held mode because my hands are so big it's kind of a bit crampy for me to you know bend my thumb back to press the a button kind of thing or bend my thumb down here to press the you know the d pads but when you've got this on um it just gives you a bit more space you can hold it a bit wider and you know it's got a nice bit of space for people with bigger hands the only problem with this one is although it charges your nintendo switch this battery um is quite heavy so you know in a long extended play session it's going to be a bit weighty on your wrist and especially for the little one so i had a little pre on amazon and i saw all these gaming grips and i thought i'd just show you while going for them so the first one we got is this the jet tech gaming grip um you know that's how it comes that's the packaging right here it's a bit basic to be honest but um yeah nonetheless it comes in lots of different colors black red blue green yellow blah 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 um obviously yeah man got the bright blue and it fits on the nintendo switch with no problem to be honest let me just get this off and slide that in there boom blow um there that's it you got all the access to your necessary ports and vents stuff like that um and it feels quite decent now these these aren't risen too high so um it's it feels better but it's not you know incredibly better it's not definitely not as good as these physical plastic card grips on the battery pack charging case um but yeah they're quite decent the next one I got is this clear case. Um, I don't think it has a brand, but I'll put the link to where you can purchase it in the description section. Um, but yeah, it's just a clear plastic one. So, you know, you can still kind of see the design of your Nintendo Switch when you're wearing it. I think most of them, when you're wearing it, when your Nintendo Switch is wearing it, um, I think most of them, oh, this one's a bit hard to put on, to be honest. Let's have a go. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll put in the top bit first for this one. Oh, there we go. I had to put in the top first there. Um, but yeah, that one's quite decent. It's got the, these grips are raised a little higher actually. So it feels like a little bit better on your hand. Um, it's got that soft touch um, plastic to it. Like, you know, most TPU cases have. And I think you'd have a bit of drop protection as well, at least for the back of the Nintendo Switch. All the access for your normal ports are at the top and at the bottom and at the back. You obviously you've got the access for the dead kickstand. Most of these all have the access for the dead kickstand. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit with this one. Um, obviously, none of these fit in the dock, by the way, but this one's a bit hard to take off, which is good because, you know, it won't fly off your Nintendo Switch unexpectedly, but it's bad at the same time because if you want to put it into dock mode, you have to go through a bit of struggle. Now, the next one I got is this Mamba case. Um, you may have seen it before. I did review it a while back. Um, they come in all different colours. My one's bare dirty now because I've had this for a while. But, um, yeah, it's got all the unnecessary ports and access. This one clips on relatively easy. Um, you know, once it's on there, it's on. It's good to go. These bits at the back aren't really raised too high, as you can see. So, um, yet again, even though they're textured to make, you know, the grip a little bit better, um, they're not really that much different from, you know, just holding the normal Nintendo Switch in handheld mode by itself. Um, you've got all the normal access to your ports and stuff like that, except for your kickstand with this one. Um, and this one is also very hard to take off. It is a, it is a battle to take it off, to be honest, if you want to put it into handheld mode. And it does feel like it's breaking the Nintendo Switch every time you do take it off. So, um, yeah, in terms of taking it off and taking it, putting it back on, um, that's a bit difficult, but yeah, that's that one. That's the number one. I'll put that in the description section below. Now, this one is from the guys at Orsley. Now, Orsley do a lot of Nintendo Switch accessories. Um, they've got the carry case, the screen protector, and they've got some other stuff down there as well, which I think is the carry case and the screen protector. Um, and yeah, this is their case. So it's quite similar to the, I think it was this one actually. Oops. The way it's got the, um, the little line in there. It feels quite rigid, you know, that strong plastic um, rubber kind of TPU material. 
Um, and it, yeah, it just comes in all different colors. Uh, it's got all your necessary ports. Let's just slide the Nintendo Switch in there, see how it goes. Um, oh, there we go. And that, get that on there. Yeah, relatively easy um, to put on. Um, looks quite decent. As I was saying, all the access to your normal ports and stuff like that. Um, and these bits are raised quite high. The two grips on either side. So yeah, when you're holding it, you do feel that kind of, you know, um, got a bit more space for your thumbs and stuff like that, especially if you've got the bigger hands. Um, yeah, that one from Worsley and lots of different colors too. Now, this one is one of my favorites. It's from YCC team. Um, I just like this kind of, I don't know what, whatever this design is called. I like that design. Um, this one comes in bright green transparent. You know, you know, we like it bright over here at JGMO TV HD. <laughs> um, if I put that on there, that's it. We're good. We're good to go. And as you can see, these bits come out a little bit at the side as well. Um, which is why this is one of my favorite of the grips. Um, it feels a lot better than most of the other grips. Uh, I mean, you know, it's a little bit, it's a cut above this one and the Orsley one. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels nice. You've got all your access to your normal ports there. And I feel like these are actually holes, which makes sure there's no condensation that builds up um, inside the Nintendo Switch. But um, yeah, you've got all your access to your ports. It feels very nice, um, you know, almost, that Joy-Con, you know, feel to it. And it peels off nice and easy when you want to put it into handheld mode. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll put all the links in the description section below. Um, this is my favorite, but also the um, Orsley and the No Brand Clear one do come into a close second place for me. I'd say the Jet Tech comes into fourth and the um, Mamba, although I do did like it a lot in the first place, comes into fifth place because, you know, the handles aren't really raised that much. But um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, Jay Jemo out.